Which one's better? A synchro range, an 8 speed power shift, or a quad? It's a debate that's been going on for a long time. Let's get into it. As it came out first, let's start with a synchro. If you'll see that I've made a kind of a better page here where you can see, because my shift pattern's kind of messed up. What I've got marked in red, that is showing the area that you have to be stopped in to shift a synchro range. So this through here, you have to be stopped over here is synchronized. And I'm not going to go a lot into this transmission for the simple fact that I've got another video. And I don't want this one to get very long. I've got another video telling all the ins and outs of this synchro range transmission. I find it on my channel. But I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of each one of these transmissions and what I think are good about them and what I think aren't so good. With this synchro range, there's really not much to tell. The synchro range transmission doesn't have a lot of added features. It's pretty bare bones. It's just a four speed. I've labeled these A, B, C, and D, although John Deere didn't, but each one of these range just so we can understand a little bit easier. But the good thing about it is that there's not much going on. There's no hydraulic clutch packs. There's no automatic part of it. Um, it's just a four speed, one, two, three, four, with two gears in each range, making eight. And so it's pretty simple. Uh, the only really complaint that I can find with this transmission is that you have to stop when you come, say you're in third and you wanna to go to second, you have to stop when you come out here and do this range shift. Like if I was in third, to come out here I'd have to stop to come over here and go into one of these. Besides that, the only other thing is these gears aren't in sequence. They don't go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And actually that works pretty good, but um, the only negative about that is that if I'm in fourth, I want to go one gear faster. I've got to come out, stop, come up to fifth. Or if I'm in fourth and I want to go a gear slower, I've got to come up to third. So these clutch shifts are a little bit bigger jump than one gear. You're jumping on average two to three gears at a time. Uh, besides that, there's not much to say on a synchro range. Um, the only other negative on a synchro range that I can come up with is that the oil pump that drives the front transmission and this is going to be for 20 series when you get into 30 series 42 30 44 30 some of those still had the synchro range and they fix that um, it drives all the time but the oil pump down below down in, in the transmission is a feed pump that drives the front pump and on a power shift you've got that running all the time but on a synchro range tractor it's starting to rain on me on a synchro range tractor that as soon as you push the clutch in that pump stops and when that so if you set with your clutch in with a synchro range for very long then what will happen is that um, you'll run out of hydraulic oil and your hydraulics will get stiff so these tractors do not make the best loader tractors in the world anytime you're going to sit there with a clutch down for a long period of time now we have the power shift transmission. Raining on me a little bit, but we'll see if we can get through it. I didn't make a uh, any kind of paper to help show the power shift transmission shift pattern because there's really not much to it. We have park down here. We have eight forward gears in line, four reverse gears in line. The great thing about this transmission is that you can power shift each one of these gears anytime you want. So if I'm in first, I can just power shift to second, no clutching required, just anytime I want. And I do not have to be stopped or even where near stopped. I can be in fifth gear, whatever gear I want, and I can pull it back into reverse and the tractor will come to a stop and automatically start going backwards. So these transmissions are really easy to drive. They're just, if I want to go faster, I bump it up one gear at a time. 
and that's what's really nice about them is you only have eight gears compared to the quad range we're going to talk about but those eight gears and full reverse you don't have to i mean i wouldn't go from although they did it down uh when these transmissions came out down in dallas when they first unveiled them they did this actually wore out a set of tires on a tractor down there unveiling it showing how what it could do but uh, they went all the way from eighth to fourth reverse at road speed and to show they didn't couldn't tear uh, couldn't tear up this transmission and although i wouldn't do that on a daily basis you can do it but so if i'm doing loader work i'll be in third or fourth gear and i'll come down and hit neutral let it come to a little bit of a stop or slow down i wouldn't have to just smoother and then i can bump it right up in third reverse is what i usually use and it is really slick it works really good what are the cons to this transmission well although they last years and years and years if they're taken care of hours and hours and hours if you start having to break one of these apart it can get pretty expensive um, parts are a little bit expensive a little bit harder to come by as they get older but power shifts are kind of like a make or break i mean they either either you got a good one and it works for a long time or else you get a bad one and you spend a lot of money on one uh, i wouldn't be scared of one i just check the oil and you know really test drive it make sure everything runs out good because they very seldom have to be worked on but if they do it does get expensive on a 30 series and 40 series power shift um, if something especially on like a thousand only tractor like a 48 40 46 40 uh, you do have to take the tractor apart if you break the pto shaft so you're brush hogging get the pto shaft into something you will have to split that tractor to put a PTO shaft in it. A quad and a synchro, the shaft to slide out, and you won't have to do that. Besides the cost of repair and the PTO issue, if you ever have that happen, a lot of people never have that happen, but it, it has been an issue if you break a shaft. Uh, the only other downfall I can say to this transmission is you've only got eight gears if we're comparing it to a quad, and that I think it does burn a little bit more fuel and take a little bit more horsepower. Um, rumor is a power shift transmission by itself takes about seven horsepower to pull. So it is it is known to pull a little harder. And on the smaller tractor like this 3020, the four cylinder, I can definitely tell that it doesn't have the horsepower that a synchro and a quad does. Um, but for a loader tractor, it works just fine. Now let's look at the quad range. The Synchro was a 71 model 4320. The power shift tractor was a 1964 3020 diesel. And this is 1980 4440 with a quad. Let's check it out. Okay, here in all its glory is John Deere at quad range 16 speed transmission. And there's a little better, better illustration. I made a paper for that too. So, what do I like about the quad? It has 16 gears. And two of them in each range. Two shifts in each range you can power shift. So, if I'm in first, I can power shift to second. I can power shift back to first. I have what we call a bump. That's what me and my friends call it, a bump shift in here. So if I'm in third, want to go a little faster, I can bump shift up to fourth, bump shift back down to third, second to first, and there's not a line there, but in reverse too, that is, that's a bump shift. All I have to do, that's a power shift. And although I didn't draw it on my deal where it says clutch, that's neutral reason it says clutch there is you power shift from fourth to third or well let's just say you're starting off in first you start off in first power shift to second push the clutch in clutch with the synchronizers just like the synchro range up to third and then power shift to fourth the funny thing about this transmission is 
it is basically a synchro range with a partial power shift in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see what I'm talking about because they've made it into two shifters. But see your A, B, C, D on the left and on this other one on the right? On this transmission, on the synchro range, it was one shifter. And they made it into two. And see the one, three reverse on the synchro range? And see the three, one reverse? Okay, they flipped the switch cams to where the lower speed was first on the quad range. And then you went up to the higher speed on top. Where these, the higher speed on top, or the higher speed was closer to you on the bottom, and the lower speed was on top. But besides that, all this is is a synchro range transmission. They've built off of that, and they put a bump or a power shift in. If you took this motion out, imagine if that was A, B, C, D, like it is. And imagine if this was one, three, reverse, and those was just in line. That would basically be a synchro range with two shifters instead of one. And that's what we've got here. And then they use the clutch packs to double up the gears and make 16 instead of the eight that the synchro has. Here's the great thing about it. Like I already said, it, already, it has 16 gears and it has a bump in it. So if I'm bailing in A3, I can bump to A4. If I'm mowing in B1, I can bump to B2 and back down. That's very nice. But let me start telling you about the problems with a quad range transmission. And if you can see it, let me go to this little scale here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but put that shifter in the way. That's better. If you're in B1 and you want to go... A little bit faster but B2 is too fast the gear would be C1 the problem is let me go back to this one second do you see how this is red and this is red that's actually a that's actually got worse on these tractors that's red because you have to stop that's what I marked on these pages so anytime you shift this range selector a B C D you have to be stopped so the problem is that unlike the power shift where I can pop up, 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 up all the way up through these gears, any one I want. This one, if I want to go from B1 to C1, I have to stop and go to C. If I want to go to A4, which I bail in a lot, and sometimes I'd love to be able to slap B1. But I have to stop and take the shifter from A to B. And then actually I have to do two shifts because I have to come from four down to two and one. So these transmissions can keep your hands pretty darn busy. But that is one of the downfalls of a quad range transmission is the overlap of all these gears. To where, do you see how A and B don't really have any overlap? So you could work in A, you want to go faster, you could work in B. Well, when you get up to C and D, man, there's a lot of there's a lot of overlap where D1 is actually slower than B4. So you've got three gears here that's kind of real close, but if you want to change from one to the other, you have to stop. The other and the biggest problem I have with this tractor, the biggest complaint I have with quad ranges is two things that i can get along with because i've just learned what i what i can use and and sometimes it doesn't take a second to hit the clutch stop and if i need to go from b to c it's not that bad the biggest problem with these tractors is number one there's two of them reverse now they've went backwards they've gotten worse synchro range tractors reverse was synchronized okay you see, if I was going, oh man, I can't hold this. If I was going from three to reverse, five to reverse, that's all synchronized. I can do that moving a little bit. 
If you take a quad range tractor and try to shift it from first to reverse on the run, moving just one mile an hour, it will grind. And so why in the world isn't this shift synchronized? I'll never know. The Let's build up to the worst thing I hate about this transmission. Do you see how I have in parentheses down here three reverse? Let me tell you why I did that. Because this reverse gear, no matter if in your A, B, C, D, doesn't matter. This 1R is what they have it over here as being a, can't see it, 1R. It's not the same speed as first. It is actually the speed of third. So, if you're in B1 going 5, 5.5 miles an hour, it's real nice to be able to be going... And you think this would be a wonderful thing. You're going in B1. That's a pretty common field gear. And you want to stop. Just pull it down to reverse. Okay. Here's the issue. Effectively, you go, are going backwards at the speed of B3. So, in these tractors, and I do it all the time. I'm sorry if this shifting gets loud. If you're in B1... You'll be going five miles an hour roughly forward. You pull that back, you're going to go seven miles an hour backwards. And so you're slipping the clutch. I do it a lot bailing, backing up. So if I have to go backwards and I'm in B range, I end up having to shift into reverse and into A. And we'll look and see what A3 is. But A3... In reverse is pretty close closer to B1 so that's the issue with these transmissions if I'm if I'm in a range I'm getting everything these tractors keep your hands busy a lot of times I'll bail in a3 and 4 so now if I'm in a3 and 4 and I want to reverse I've got to bring all the way back through 2 and 1 and into reverse Back up, drop the bell, go all the way back through. All they would have had to do, instead of putting... Um, I I have two clipboards. Instead of putting two and one down here, if they would have put two and one up here, that would have been wonderful. Imagine if instead of one right here, you had three and one up there. One, three, and look what you'd have. You would have one, three, and if you would, if they would have swapped these, which guys have done it, they've put synchro shift, shift cams in these tractors, and then it moves three and four back into this slot, and it moves one and two up here. It would be such a better reversing transmission. Because I don't know who wants to go um, a speed forward and then go to reverse gear that's 30 40 percent faster going backwards and slip the clutch all day or just go fat backwards with a baler behind you at seven miles an hour anyway it's turned into a little bit of a lengthy video but it's a lot of information if you want to do if you want to learn more about the synchro range i did a full video on the synchro range where i explain every shift when to clutch when to not clutch uh, or when you have to stop, you have to clutch on all of them. But, and I probably pretty soon will do a, a quad video where I just talk about the quad. I also have a power shift video out. So, but go in the comments. If you're still here, you're awesome. If you're at this point in the video, go in the comments and tell me what's your favorite transmission and why. Most of the time, most people aren't going to say this is their favorite in a 30 or 40 series. Okay, the, this is a great transmission, the Synchro. But most people are going to either say, I'm a quad guy because I like 16 gears. Or I'm a power shift guy because although you have 16 gears, half the time you have to stop to be able to get the 16 gears you want. And that kind of defeats the purpose. You lose your momentum. So I'm going to cut it off there. Um, if you got anything out of this, I know it was a getting on a 20 minute video. Uh, if you got anything out of this. Subscribe to me if you will so I can bring you more of this content. Hit the like button. Tell the algorithm we're doing okay and we've got some good information out there. And I hope to see you back in another video.
Thank you. Bye.